kids, good morning. I am Mrs. Ido, your teacher in science. Are you ready to learn new lesson in science today? If so, please find your comfortable seat. Have your module with you, your pen, your ball pen, and everything you need while answering this module. We are now on module one of quarter three. This topic is about effects of force on the shape and size of an object. So at the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain the effects of force on the shape and size of an object. Class, have you ever noticed some objects or materials that are changed from its original shape and size, what causes their changes? Now, this module is helpful to grade four pupils like you to fully discover and understand the effect of force when applied to an object. But before learning our new lesson, I want to I want you to answer first an activity. This is based from your previous lesson about force in grade three class. Here is the, your activity. Direction. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what is force? A, ability to do work. B, a push and pull on an object. C, physical properties of the materials. D, molecules are widely spread. Okay, what is your answer? Very good. The answer for this question is letter B. Number two, what causes the object to move? A, Force, B, magnet, C, heat, D, sound. All right, if you choose letter A as your answer, then you are correct. Number three, a door need a blank to open. A, energy, B, force, C, magnet, D, friction. What is your answer? All right. The answer for this question is letter B, force. Number four, a blank and a blank to make things move. A, sink. Low, B, North, South, C, East, West, D, Push, Pull. All right, very good. The answer is letter D. Last number. Number five, we need to, to apply blank to move, to move the Table, A, energy, B, magnet, C, force, D, friction. All right, the answer is letter C, force. If you got five correct answers, then congr congratulations. It indicates that you learned much from your lesson about force in grade three. Okay, let's now have our activity for the new lesson. Let's study the picture below and answer the following questions. On the next slide are the questions. Right. What are the objects found in the picture? Observe what happened to the piece of wood. What do you think is done to the piece of wood, right? 
pain. Now, these are the questions. What objects did you see on the picture? Write your answer on the blank. What does the person do with the wood? Okay, ano kaya ang ginawa ng tao doon sa piece of wood? So, isasulat nyo dito. Number three, does the shape of wood change when it was chopped? Did you understand what is the meaning of the word chop? In Visaya term, this is bughaon, no? Or gibugha. All right. Number four, based from this activity, what happened to the wood when apply when we applied force? Okay. Write your answers. Done. Very good. Now, what is it? A force acting on an object causes the object to change its shape or size. Now, some situations where force is applied and change the size and shapes are the following. Dropping a glass, cutting a cardboard, pounding an eggshell, and squeezing spans. There are Lots of examples of situations where force is applied and the change and the size and shape of the objects are changed. Do the following activities, then answer the following question. You have here three activities to do. The first one, Drop an ice cubes on the floor. If you have refrigerator at home, get an ice cube, then drop it on the floor. Observe what happens to the shape and size of the ice cubes. Number two, squeeze an empty can of soda or soft drinks. A, squeeze the empty cat. Number three, tear a piece of paper like this. All right. Questions. What happened to the shape on and size of the ice cubes after it was dropped? Number two, what happened to the shape and size of a piece of paper after it was torn? Ano kaya ang nangyari sa hugis at laki ng papel matapos mo itong punitin? Number three, what happened to the shape and size of an empty can after it was squeezed? Right? Write the answers on the black na okay what's more another activity direction read and understand the situation write your answer on the table below okay here are the column for the situation and here you write the explanation Right? Ex explain the effect of force on the shape and size of an object. Situation A, father cut the wood. Now, you explain what happened to the piece of wood after father cut it. Now, letter B, Pedro twisted the tie wire. Pedro twisted the tie wire. So you explain the effect of force on the tie wire. Letter C, Mario hammered the iron bottle cap. Now, uh, letter D, Anna squeezed an oblong balloon. Right. What I have learned. By this time, 
I guess that you have learned something already. Direction. Study the picture carefully. Tell what activity is being done and what changes or changes took place when force was applied to the following objects. Number one. Observe what is the picture all about. What is done to the sponge. So let me read Okay, for number two, what the boy is doing with the substance inside the container. All right, you're right. And what changes took place? Next, number three, right? What is done to the rubber band? What changes took place? Number four, a man is holding an object. Now what he did to, uh, to the object? What happens to the shape and size of the object? For number five, all right, what the little girl is doing to the piece of paper. What happens to the shape and size of the paper she is holding? Okay, you write the answers on the block. All right, what I can do, what you need. Paper, pair of scissor, bar of soap, cracker biscuits, hammer or stone, any empty box, empty plastic bottle. What to do? Observe each of the solid material. Solid materials given in column A. Change the shape or size of the materials found in column A by applying force in it. Fill out column B with what you did to change the shape and size of the materials. Fill out column C with the changes that took place after you applied force on the matter. Yeah. Here is the table. Okay, column A are the list of objects. Column B, you write here what you did to change the shape and size of the material. And for column C, you write what changes took place after you applied force on the material. For example, paper. Oh, anong gawin mo sa papel para maiba ang kanyang hugis at kanyang laki? Marami kayong pwedeng gawin sa papel, di ba? Then here you write the changes. So ano yung nakikita mong kaibahan matapos mong gawin? Sa papil. All right, next object, bar soap. So think of something you can do to a bar soap to change the shape and size of it. Write also the changes. Cracker biscuits. Oh, anong gagawin mo sa biscuits? Para maiba ang kanyang shape at size. Empty box. Anong gagawin nito para maiba rin ang kanyang size and shape? So, with the empty button. Okay? All right. We are now on the assessment part. This portion serves as a measurement of what you have learned from our lesson today. Direction. Answer the letter of the correct answer. Number one, the shape or size of an object blank when force is applied on it. A, break. B, bend. C, change. D, move. 
All right. Number two, when a force is applied on a rubber band, the rubber band blank. A breaks. B is cut into tiny pieces. Letter C changes its shape. D stays the same. Okay, you analyze the question carefully so that you can get the correct answer. Number three, which of the following situations show the change in size when force is applied? Letter A, a brook plays inside the bag. Oh, ipasok yung aklat mo sa bag. Letter B, paper clips thrown on the floor. Letter C, a pencil rolling on the table. And letter D, a garter being pulled. Number four, when a molding clay is being squeezed, it will blank. A, change its shape. B, cut into tiny pieces. C, breaks. D, stays the same. Number five, when force is applied, which situation shows change in size and shape of an object? A, a tire being rolled. B, pounding of corn or rice. Letter C, a vase placed on the table. And letter D, a car parked on the street. Analyze each question, children, so that you can get the correct answer, right? Okay, you have an additional activities. Direction, observe the materials, objects found at home. What materials, objects are changed from its original size or shape? Explain how the changes happen. Give at least two materials. Write or your answer below. I hope you understand our lesson today. Goodbye, class, and thank you. God bless.